Ace and Tay. Well, Mark, would you please tell us a bit about your company? Um, who are the founders? How did you start? Um, let's see this one. Yeah. Uh, so my company is called Ace and Tay. My co-founder Camille is sitting right there, handsome gentleman in the glasses. Uh, what we do is we sell prescription eyewear uh, online and our mission is to make people change their eyewear as often as they would change their sneakers. So um, it was born from the idea that I didn't get why I would change my whole outfit uh, when I would go from the club to I don't know, a bank meeting, uh, but I wouldn't change my eyewear, which is the most in your face accessory literally. Um, so I started working on the concepts uh, and I asked myself why it was so expensive and I saw that it wasn't necessary that expensive to manufacture a pair of eyewear um, and that idea became Ace and Tate. So we sell everything at a flat fee of 98 euros including prescription glasses and free shipping everything and that's yeah. So and um, could you tell us a bit more about what makes Ace and Tate a digital company? Um, well, the quite obvious answer would be that we sell everything online. Um, the less obvious answer would be that we don't advertise as most opticians do in the newspaper or uh, in a magazine. Uh, we do all our marketing online. Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, can you talk, uh, tell us a bit about um, yeah, the situation? Because you really hit a dent in the market. Um, how, how did that go? Um, if you wear a pair of eyeglasses, you can do basically two things. You can go to a high street optician, and that's a place I didn't feel comfortable with. Um, or you go to a luxury optician, and they have a beautiful selection, but it will cost you, well, an arm and a leg, I guess. Um, and we jumped in that hole that was there. Um, and with regards to the market, it's, it is changing, um, but they don't really like us. Because <laughs> because basically you're skipping all the in between people, right? Yeah. So traditionally, eyewear is made. Brand name eyewear is made by a couple of very big companies. Um, so, for instance, you buy a pair of Tommy Hilfiger glasses manufactured by a company called Luxottica, and they will take a license, manufacture everything, and also sell it. And Tommy Hilfiger gets a percentage of that. And there's a lot of links in the chain between actual manufacturing and the end consumer. What we do is we design everything ourselves. Soy sitting right there does a large part of that. Um, and we also sell it ourselves, so there's no one in between. And that's the, I'd say, business model change that we did. How big are you guys at the moment? Uh, in terms of company? Um, yeah, or... Uh, um, okay, uh, we are about 15 people now from uh, operating for Amsterdam, and we have launched a year ago next week, so we're almost one year old. Um, one year old. One year people. old. That yeah. is crazy. Yeah, it was a, it's, a, it's a wild ride sometimes. Uh, a lot of challenges right there, but we'll talk about that later, I guess. Yeah. Um, and we're op we operate in the Netherlands now. We also sell in the UK, and we just launched Germany last week. And what you actually saw here was um, a press launch last Thursday. Uh, we invited some international press to talk about the brand. We relaunched the whole identity, which we'll also talk about a bit in, uh, later on today. Uh, and we launched a pop-up store in Droog, Amsterdam, which is a famous design store, which we're very proud of. Cool. So, um, if you guys want to ask some questions in between, just raise your hand. Yeah, and please jump in. find you guys also in the back over here. But, um, um, well, let's go on with, uh, with the next video.